Hi guys, welcome to part 2 of the Gearbox tutorial. Today we'll be going over how to make lightning or pocketing patterns on our gearbox. As you can see here, these lightning patterns greatly reduce the amount of weight in the gearbox as well as maintaining the structure. Let's begin. Start with the 2D sketch on your already existing plate. Project geometry and use the offset tool to offset the outer edge by a quarter inch. Now we'll be offsetting each of the holes by an eighth of an inch. Make sure all of your offsets go towards the outside of the gearbox. Alright, now that we've offset all of the holes, we can start forming the bridges. We start by creating lines that are in construction to represent where the bridges will be. As you're forming the bridges, ensure that the structural integrity of the plate can remain. Think about where your holes are going to be and how they're going to come together to form the pocketing. Alright, now that we've formed the overall structure, let's start forming the bridges in between. You'll be going to rectangle, three point center. Let's start with the first bridge. Look for the center point on the line. The center point will typically be denoted with a green dot, as seen here. Click on it, stretch it out to the endpoints, and extend it. The width of our bridge is going to be 0.2. As you can see, I did not deselect the construction, so let's undo, try that again. Click on the green dot, go to the ends, and offset to 0.2. Let's repeat this process for all of our bridges. Right here, the center point will not intersect with the green with the circle completely. It will slightly it will be slightly offset. So pay attention to where you're selecting the center point. Over here, we can simply select the center of the circle and connect it to these two points. If you remember from earlier, these represent our bolt holes for the gearbox. As you can see, it can be quite difficult finding the center point, but once you do, it makes the process much faster. I am not completely satisfied with the way our bridges are connected. Right here, you can see that these holes will be 
very unsupported. So I'll be extending this rectangle all the way over to this point here. Let's use the coincidence constraint. Constrain this line to this point right here. All right. Now everything on our gearbox seems to be supported. Let's start making the holes themselves. Now, as you can see here, the hole here will be in this region. The hole here will be in this region. Here, 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 here. In order to make these holes actually appear, we need to start trimming pieces off the edges of our gearbox. Let me demonstrate what I'm referring to. This is the hole we want, right? What we need to do is trim off any line connecting to the corners of the hole itself. So I'll be going through here, here, isolating the hole until all we have is the hole itself. Alright, as you can see the one mistake I realized I made here is that I did not offset the circle. So let's do that and repeat the process again. Alright, as you can see we've isolated the hole. Let's repeat this process for the next view. Be careful and pay attention and make sure that you are not cutting open the hole itself. You want to keep it as a closed loop. The reason you're cutting off the corners is that is because Inventor doesn't always recognize closed loops if they're attached to other lines. You need to isolate them yourself. If it tells you that the sketches cannot be trimmed dynamically, one thing that might fix it is deleting the dimensions. So I'm going to click on the point 2, delete it. Let's try trimming this again. As you can see, I'm also trimming in smaller chunks. That may fix your problem. Just going around, isolating the hole. Always think about what your end product is going to be. It makes this a lot easier. Alright, now we have done half of our gearbox plate. That is all we have to do, and I'll explain why just in a sec. Go through and examine and make sure all of your pockets are isolated. Right here, I'll have to isolate this one, trim off a small segment here, just clean up all the rough edges. Alright, all of my pockets on the left hand side look isolated, as well as the pocket that's centered here. Let's finish the sketch and try extruding, extruding these. Remember, as you can see on the right hand side, when I try to extrude it, it cannot. That's because the, pocket, the pockets are not isolated, and it assumes that all of these are supposed to be one big connection. So for now, Let's go ahead and do these ones. Cut extrude the other direction. Press OK. Alright. Now, let's mirror these pockets over to this side. This is how we're going to do it. We're going to go to the plane option, go down to mid plane between two planes, and select two planes that are symmetrical to each other. In my gearbox, that would be this plane here, symmetrical to this plane here. As you can see, it creates a plane perfectly down the middle of my gearbox. Now we'll use the mirror tool. Say that we want to mirror extrusion 2 using the mirror plane right here in the middle. 
Okay, that. There we go. Now, as you may know, when you're CNCing parts, such as this gearbox plate, you cannot have sharp inside corners. D drill bits simply cannot make these corners. If you were water jetting this, you may have that option, given that your water, water jet is extremely, extremely focused. So, in order to fix this, let's use a fillet tool. Fillet, select only one fillet, and then use the option right here called All Fillets. For now, I'll be using the default number of 0.125. Apply. There we go. If I want to hide the plane in the middle, I can go to View, Object Visibility, User Work Planes. Alright. Now one last aesthetic touch I can add to this is making it look like real metal. I'll select the gearbox plate here. Change my material option to aluminum dark or aluminum flat, whatever your preference is. And then I want to change the color to our standard team color. 41, 66, 254. And yes, the one difference between 255 and 254 does matter. Alright, congratulations. You finished the pocketing and lightning step of this tutorial.